Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of perimeter, specifically how we can find the perimeter of various shapes even with unknown side lengths, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So the perimeter is simply the measurement around. And you can look at this word perimeter and you can think of that word rim. Think of like the rim of a basketball hoop. It goes around. So we're looking for the measurement around the outside of any type of shape. But sometimes it's not going to be simply as easy as pulling out your ruler and measuring the three sides or the four sides. That would be the easy part. Sometimes they're going to give you some type of question and it might not even have a picture. It might say, oh, let's say you're trying to find the perimeter of a square and you can say the side length equals let's just call it three centimeters and then that, that's all they're going to give you they're going to give you the name of the shape and the side length and they want the perimeter which we'll call p how can we solve that well let's draw a picture of a square here and it all goes back to what we know about squares we know that squares have four equal sides so if one side length equals three then we can put this three around all the other three sides. And now we simply have to add up three plus three plus three plus three, or we can do three times four, and that's gonna get us 12. So even though they only gave us one measurement, we can find the perimeter of a square. Same thing happens when we're looking at a rectangle. Sometimes they'll give us a rectangle and they might say the length equals five centimeters and then they might say the width equals 10 centimeters now the problem is is if you see this on a test sometimes that one of the incorrect answers will be 15 they'll just add up the 10 and the 5 but that's not how rectangles work rectangles have both a length and a width i'm going to put the five centimeters on the smaller one the 10 centimeters on the larger one but that's only giving me two of the four sides. Now I need to fill out the other two and say that's going to be another five. That's going to be another 10. Now I can add up 10 and 10 and five and five, or I can multiply two times 10, multiply two times five, and I can add the two products. Either way, our perimeter is going to be 30 centimeters. Let's look at the perimeter of some triangles. Sometimes you might be asked to find the perimeter of an equilateral triangle and they just like a square They might say that the side Equals let's put six inches and that's all they're going to give you and they're going to want the perimeter Well an equilateral triangle you have to know what that means Equilateral look at that word equal is almost in the beginning. They just misspelled one letter equal means All three sides are the exact same length so it's kind of like a square all four sides of a square have the same length all three sides of an equilateral triangle have the same length so if they give you this side that means it's going to be six that's going to be six inches and that's going to be six inches so then you can easily calculate that as 18 inches they might say an isosceles triangle now this is going to be a little bit different two sides are going to be Oh, let's say five meters each. And then they might give you the perimeter. They might say you have a perimeter of 14 meters. So they've given you two sides of the triangle and they've given you the perimeter. But now they're looking for the missing side. How in the world can you figure this out? Missing side. Well, this comes back to what we know about the isosceles triangle. Look at this SOS, same other same so an isosceles triangle has two sides that are the exact same length and then the other one is the one that's different so the two sides so that means these two are the identical ones that's five meters and five meters my whole perimeter is 14 well so far i've got 10 so i've got 10 take that away from 14 and that's going to leave me with four so this is going to have to be four meters that's my missing side so if it's an isosceles triangle and they give you the measurement of the two congruent sides, you can use that to find the measurement of the missing side length.